days are done. It's time to get to work. The Panthers play their first game of 2014 tonight. This trio hopes to pick up where it left off, the veterans and the teenage center. Nashville knocks on the BB&T Center door in their only visit to South Florida this season. It's a Saturday night, a hockey night. The Panthers and Predators play now. And a beautiful South Florida night. Maybe the only place in America not frozen and under snow. The Panthers on ice tonight inside the BB&T Center against the Nashville Predators. And tonight's telecast on Fox Sports Florida is presented by the Florida Lottery. And we are ready to go. The Panthers off the holiday break. Last played on New Year's Eve. Jovanovski, as we said, back in the lineup. So is Scotty Upshaw tonight. And here comes that top line. Barkoff, Boys, and Bergenheim. And a chance for Barkoff. He misses wide. First shift of the game. These three have been blistering hot. The killer bees, as they call them. Barkoff takes the hit in the corner. Continues to work. Bergenheim hustles behind the net. Yossi battling him. Fed to the boards. Gilbert steps up. Now it's Spalling. Knocked down by Boys. So a strong opening shift by the Barkoff line. And finally, the Predators able to get out. Good strong shift to start the game for the Killer Bees. Nashville off their game Thursday. They lost in overtime, 3-2 to two to the Bruins. Fleischman on with Upshaw and Bukestad. So a little line change with Upshaw back. Jonathan Huberdeau goes with Gotch and Kopetsky tonight. Drew Shore, Scott Gomez, the forwards that are scrapped. Dylan Olsen was placed on IR as Jovanovski returns. Some of the transactions over the last four days. Here's a point shot. Tim Thomas tried to find it. It was in the skates of Kulikov. Hornquist couldn't get a shot away. And Upshaw moves it out to center. Too far for Fleischman. And Ekholm resets. Here's Seth Jones, the 19-year-old. Plays it ahead, Colin Wilson. Rims it around. Chipped the other way by Upshaw. He missed three games with injury. The upper body for Upshaw, but playing some super hockey when he went down. Former Nashville Predator is Scotty Upshaw. Here's Jovanovski, and he hears it from the crowd. Gets the stretch pass through to Kopetsky. Moving in and shooting. And Mazanitz able to make the save. Merrick Mazanitz, 22-year-old rookie. He's given up three-plus goals in seven straight games. In his first 11 games, that only happened twice. Bit of a struggle lately for Mazanitz. Down at the other end, Tim Thomas, his last four games, only six goals against, and he was lights out last game against the New York Rangers coming off that injury, which he missed eight games with, and Tim Thomas did not miss a beat. Here's Gotch, Kopetsky, Huberdeau. Jonathan Huberdeau. Really probably for the first time in his life, Billy, is having a little bit of trouble scoring goals of late. And all part of that learning process, you know, still less than 100 games in the NHL, only 20 years old. I think he's going to be fine. He's got all the talent in the world and wants it. Has to forget about scoring goals. That's the last thing when you're struggling. Start pressing. Just worry about playing defense and affecting games in the other way. The goals will come. Dodge was a little slow getting up there. Now he's got the puck. Deflects in front, taken away by Hendricks. And he'll send it all the way down. Too far for Cullen. Campbell behind the net. Been on a bit of a roll of late. Offensively picking up points. Last three games, he's averaged 30 minutes a night. Playing some big-time hockey. Up to second in the NHL now in ice time. Only Ryan Suter in Minnesota plays more minutes than Campbell. Matthias puts it right in front. Kulikov finds it with a wrister. Ooh, that just missed. Good hard wrist shot by Kulikov, but he missed the target. Great opportunity for him. Panthers have had two chances, one by Barkov, one by Kulikov. Both of them missed the net. You have to test this young goaltender for the Predators. Yeah, Mazanitz is an interesting guy. A sixth-round pick last year in 2012. And with Pecorine down with injury, 22-year-old Mer Mazanitz is making... Trying to make the most of his opportunity. He's been pretty decent. Hand pass called here in a stoppage. Barry Trotz, the longest tenured coach in the NHL. Year number 15. He's been the only coach in the Predators history. Nashville 2-0-1 in their last three games. Peter Horacek in the Panthers. And Peter Horacek, interesting matchup for him. Ten years in the Predators organization. Knows the Predators well. You know this is an exciting game for Peter Horacek. See, I got a big problem, Billy, that 
But, I mean, those guys go out for dinner last night. Why is Horacek paying for it? I know it's his town here in South Florida. But Trotz has been around a lot longer. Shouldn't the <laughs> – right? He should be picking up the tab. I mean, Barry, you know, I know – Voracek's a South Florida guy, but... I know, on. you think with Barry Trotz would definitely pick up the check. Right. Uh, the check. All those years. Voracek well, will try to pick up the win. I mean, you're picking up the check, you might as well get the win, right, the next he, night. Who's asked <laughs> if there was a friendly wager on the game between Trotz and Horacek, and Horacek said, wager? He said, like, a dinner or something? He said, well, no wager on dinner. I had to pay for dinner last <laughs> night. Tell you what, even as an, you know, opposing coach, whenever we go into Nashville after morning skates barry trotz one of the most affable coaches in the nhl always has time to chat and horacek same way panthers have a winning record since peter horacek took over as coach barkov finds a loose puck gives to bergenheim ekholm is with him boys now comes over leg one there as well and he's able to poke it ahead weaver stepped up but it popped out to center and then chips into the Nashville bench. A little more than four minutes gone by. Nashville Predators not very good at even strength. They're the fourth worst team at even strength in the NHL. They live on their power play. They have a very good power play, eighth in the NHL. But the Panthers under Horacek have been a very good even strength team. I think that's where the Panthers have the edge tonight. Got to try and push that tempo against the Predators. Get them back on their heels. Kulikov, that one's on goal and fended off by Mazanitz and out of play. And living on the power play for the Predators? He's big in the goal differential. Look at that, five on five. Minus 24 for the Predators. It hasn't been good. Their power play has saved them a lot in hockey games. Now it goes to show you, if you have the good special teams, <laughs> you know, it can lead, lead to wins even if you're not doing a great job five on five. They're a 500 team this year. Panthers win the draw. Kulikov again, his third shot of the game. That one was blocked by Hornfist, and Fleischman back to cover on defense. And the Panthers have outscored their opposition at even strength. Turn over here, Wilson with a shot. Tim Thomas makes the big save. And the 12 wins under Horacek, they've outscored the opposition 36 to 16 at even strength. Stay out of the box, good formula. Panthers off the 2-1 shootout loss, really a heartbreaker. They were in control of that game until the Rangers got one late, and then. Brad Richards, the only goal in the shootout. Quite a duel between Lundquist and Thomas here on New Year's Eve. Here's Jovanovski paired up with Petrovic. Eric Goodbranson skating again. He was at the morning skate today, so hopefully he returns soon for Florida. Gotch is in with a shot. Mazanitz had some problems with that, played it over to the corner. I think you have to test this young goaltender. Easy shot against Mazanitz. He just fumbled that puck, left it lying there for a rebound. He has struggled of late. Kopetsky tries to win the battle from the veteran Matt Cullen, a former Panther. Comes behind the net. Now it's Gotch. Back again for Huberdo. Feeds the point. The shot trickles wide, and Mazanitz won't take any chances. He covers up. With the whistle, let you know the Panther social media is powered by Ford. Get breaking news, team updates, and more. So follow the Panthers on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Another one of those games, the first goal is big. Nashville 15-1-3 when they score first. 3-17-2, the opposition first. And Nashville, not good playing from behind. You'd love to get that first goal. Hayes taking this face off against Paul Gostad, the former Sabre, number one in the NHL in the circle at 59%. And the Predators able to get it out. Free puck of the neutral zone. Nashville is a team. Number one in the NHL. So that'll be a big battle. Centermen are going to have to bear down in the circle. Well, you know, they got these veteran centermen. I mean, you know, Leguan and Cullen and, and Mike Fisher. I mean, all 33 years old. These guys have been around the block. Certainly. Gilbert carrying. In over the line. Drops for Campbell. Looking for a lane and shooting. And Mazanitz will hold it. Ed Jovanovski returning tonight for the Panthers. Good to have the captain back, making his season debut. Just underway, Panthers and Predators scoreless in the first. Panthers a couple chances. You got to be able to hit the net. Barkov in close against Mazonitz. Fires it wide, and then a second one. Dmitry Kulikov right on his stick. Head up, but he still fires it wide. I know you tried to pick the corners, but still, against a young 22-year-old goaltender, I think you have to test him, and you have to make him make saves. And remember, you had big Jimmy Hayes and Chris Barch there right in front on that last shot. 
Even if he makes the save, there's a rebound chance. We saw the one shot they got on net. Mazanitz fumbled the puck, left it Ryan lying right in the crease. Legwan won the defensive zone draw, sends Spalling in, and that creates a shot that's stopped by Tim Thomas. As you mentioned, Billy, those face-off circles, something to watch for tonight. Scramble in front of the Panther net, and they score! Poked in by the red-hot Smith. And the Predators take the early lead, one to nothing. Craig Smith has been on a roll. Now six goals his last eight games for Smith. Eight points in eight games. Panthers have pretty good coverage. They're in good shape. It bounces off Gilbert. Trying to find the puck, and Bergenheim tried to cl clear it, and he cleared it right off the body shin pads of Smith in front, and it goes in behind Tim Thomas. I think Bergenheim there on, uh, should just take it on his forehand and throw it in the corner. No reason on his backhand to throw it in the middle of the ice. It was a pressure situation. Bergenheim had that puck, but threw it on his backhand where he wasn't looking. It bounced right off Smith into the net, and Nashville gets the first goal. But it is always tough, as you said, Billy, when they grab that lead. We've known that over the years. Nashville breaks out on top. Smith is one of those streaky players when he gets hot. Puck seems to find him. He seems to find it. He's hot right now. Remember that whole rush up ice and that whole scramble in front all created when Legwan won the, the, the face off in his own zone. And the Predators came all the way through the neutral zone. Now on the four check, Hornquist. Free puck. Shea Weber steps up and fires. Deflected wide by Kulikov. Weaver takes a hit, makes the play. Back with you again Tuesday night. Panthers after this one get on the road next week. Tuesday in Montreal at 7.30. They will not be happy, the Canadians. Panthers 2-0 this year against Montreal. They have just a goal in each game. Here's a chance in front. Thomas able to find it. And the Predators with some pressure here now the last couple of shifts. And the body in the turnover and twice men in front. you got to have a player in front of the net. Got to be able to protect the front of the net. Hendricks can see Jovanovski in behind the net. Maybe expecting a pass, but someone has to stand in front. Tim Thomas able to make that save. But you have to be able to protect the house, as they call it. Got to have a player in front of Tim Thomas. Former Panther against former Predator in the circle here. Gotch and Cullen. Did you play with Matt Cullen when he was here? I think you did. I no, I did not. You I missed him. him. Okay. Zero, what, 0 2 0 4 Cup parts of a couple of seasons. Petrovic carrying nicely down the wing. Takes the shot. Mazanitz, again, a little bit of trouble, but able to cover up there for a whistle. Here's your chance to bring the family out to see the Panthers in action. In this month, pick any two games. You have four tickets. Parking, a post-game slap shot, and an I Love Panthers hockey t-shirt packages. Go for as low as $50 for lower adult level tickets, $25 for uppers. So come on out, 954-835-PUCK. Got the Sharks coming in this month, the Islanders for the first time, Colorado as well. Panthers win this draw. Here's Jovanovski with a shot going wide. Barkov plays it off the end wall. Gives to Boys, deflects into the slot. Petrovic comes over. Able to hold it in. Bergenheim races with Cullen. Bergenheim went down hard. He's back up. And the clear all the way down. Races on. Bork gets there, but Petrovic closed on him. Petrovic wearing 72 for the Panthers. Here's a chance for Cullen from the sharp angle. Jovanovski blocked that one. It just feels good saying his name again, doesn't it? Nice to have him back. Long road back. There was some nerves for Jovanovski. Make no bones about it, but be good to get through this game and get his feet wet. Chance here for Hendricks, but he gives it up, and Ekholm fires high. And that one will carry all the way back. Got to be careful with your point coverage. Boys came over to help. Left Ekholm wide open on that far side. He fired it high and wide. As far as we officially know, no pro athlete has ever had the hip procedure that Jovanovski has and has come back and played. Here we get an offsides call on Nashville. I know Eddie Well played with him back in the day and through this, and it's been a challenge, not only physically, but mentally to come back. He's worked hard as he talks to the old captain there, Brian Scrudlin, at Jovanovski wearing the C, but 
put a lot of work in and he wanted to come back and only one reason for Jovanovski to come back. He has the money, everything. He wants to be the captain of this team and he wants to be the captain on the ice. He's coming back for the love of the game and it is great to see that 55 jersey on the ice. And it means so much inside that dressing room as well. Kopetsky now works in the offensive zone. Gilbert trying to stay with it here. But now Stahlberg out to center. Chips in. Stahlberg after it. Couldn't get the backhander on goal. And Huberdo comes back to play it for the Panthers. Lead pass. Finds Campbell right on the stick. Campbell over the line. Huberdo going to the net. Yossi for the Predators. And it gets by everybody, so Kulikov will head back into his own zone. Ten and a half to go in the first. General Manager Dale Talon joins us live in the booth at the first intermission. You don't want to miss that. Icing here on Florida. Last of a four-game homestand for the Panthers, and has to be that sense of urgency. It's not the last couple games, but a big game. You're getting set to go out for three games on the road, and this is one that you would love to have in the bank. Got to be able to keep that foot right on the gas pedal. Here's Bukestad on the draw now. Against the veteran Leguan. Kulikov races over, hit by Spalling. Leguan, the centering pass. Didn't find a man, it comes all the way back. Tim Thomas, 3-0-1 in his last four starts. Of course, missed three weeks before that game Tuesday when he returned against the Rangers. Total of six goals allowed in those four games. So, Thomas has been outstanding. This is the official start for the second half of the season for the Panthers, game number 42. Bukestad trying to carry it out, couldn't do it. Leguan in the slot. Yossi goes down low. Kulikov knocked it free. It's Smith again who has the goal, puts it out in front. The shot deflected, now Leguan on the backhand, it goes wide. Predators with a good chance there. Still in the offensive zone. Leg wand again, sharp angle shot. Thomas has it under him. Predators are pressing. Panthers gonna need to pick it up. Midway through the first. Tim Thomas with the stop to keep it one nothing. Welcome back, one nothing Predators here in the first. I'm Drew Goldfarb. Matt Cohen is a former Florida Panther now playing for the Nashville Predators. He spent two seasons playing 86 games with the Cats after being acquired All-Star Week. Uh, in the Santa Soslin trade. He's been pretty solid in his career against the Cats in his first year in Nashville. Doing pretty well for the Predators as well, guys. You know what I like about it, Drew? We don't get many Sandus Ozolin references on the broadcast, so nice job by you. No, we don't. Name from the past. Matt Collins has been around his seventh NHL team. Set stops in Anaheim, Florida, New York Rangers, Carolina, Ottawa, Minnesota. It's amazing when he was and in Carolina. In that was the one spot. And he's playing good hockey now. And is, you know, obviously a quality veteran guy, but he had some years in Carolina where he was just deadly. Here comes Barkov leading the three on two. The drop. Boys moves in. Back for Barkov. He shoots. Puck loose and it goes in. Boys may have gotten a piece of it. And the killer bees are buzzing again. They get another goal. 1-1. One, one. This line's been sensational. Unbelievable. Just carrying the load for the Panthers. Breakout pass. It catches three Nashville forwards. Three on two. Little give and go. Boys to bark off. And does Boys push it into the net? It looks like Brad Boys gets the rebound. Brad Boys doesn't go by the net, but he stops at the net. Able to put it behind, and this line just stays red hot for Coach Peter Hornchuk and the Panthers. Brad Boys able to tie the game up at one, and he has goals in back-to-back -back games. Three-game point streak for Brad Boys. Two goals, two assists. Four points his last three games. And you know, Billy, he, he's a plus five on the season. Only Scotty Upshaw and Nick Bukestad are pluses for the Panthers up front at the forward position. Boys, I mean, you know he's a goal scorer in this league. He scored 43 once, but overall, his game over the last month or so has just been outstanding. Big response by the Panthers. They get it tied three and a half minutes after. Nashville got the game's first goal. Bad boy scored a lot of goals in October and November. He's only got a couple here in December, but he's been way better. Way better all around game. Now he's starting to get on the score sheet again, and that line 
the chemistry between those three players starting to develop, and it's getting better and better every game. All three of those players last game played over 20 minutes, all season highs for all three players. Peter Horacek is riding the hot horse. Barkov and Campbell get the helpers. So now a three-way tie for the Panthers' lead in scoring. Barkov and Campbell with the points. Ty Thomas Fleischman for the team lead. Go, or Gotch, rather, able to hold it in at the line. Predators able to clear. I correct myself. I said the Panthers' next game was Tuesday. It's actually Monday in Montreal. And we'll have it for you at 7.30 here on Fox Sports Florida. Monday, Montreal, Thursday, Buffalo, and then next Saturday night in Jersey in Newark. Big hit out at center. Leguan went down. Weaver behind his own cage. How about the stretch Alexander Barkov starting to put together now, too? Alexander Barkov extends, extends his point streak to five games. Well, he's been at a point a game now for a good number of weeks. And he's also a plus seven during that stretch. Some gaudy numbers from the 18-year-old. Bukestad finds Campbell. Takes a look ahead. And Upshaw able to get it deep. Bukestad chasing after it. Azanitz having some trouble behind the net. Good play by Gilbert coming down low for his D spot. Upshaw's side of the net. Now it chips up high. And Stahlberg able to get out. Campbell waits behind his own net. At that point, he's got four in his last four games, does Campbell. Now that puck hit the Panther door as the bench. Door was open. Bergenheim, shot deflected. Bergenheim beats Jones to the puck. Jones lost his stick. But Ekholm able to get it out of trouble for the Predators. Hornquist after it. Centering pass, knocked down by Kulikov. Weaver hits Hornquist. Bergenheim, nice chip. Here comes Boys. Barkov up joining the play. Boys shoots in. There's Jones and Barkov together. Second and fourth picks in the draft back in June. Panthers passed on Jones for Barkov. Campbell steps up to play it off the wall. And carries through center in over the line. Campbell waiting for some help. The drop. Huberdo hit by Bork. Jones moves it around the boards for Hendricks. Nice little poke check there by Kapetsky. And Gotch gives to Petrovic with a shot. Why? Hendricks working it free for the Predators. And Klein able to just lift it to the Panther blue line. But we see a lot more from the Panthers. Creating a lot more turnovers with their forechecking pressure. Turnover here. Hendricks shoots. Oh, it went through Thomas. He took a look behind him and skipped wide. Close call, here comes Huberdo for Kapetsky. Huberdo goes off on a change. Kapetsky in front, deflected wide by Gotch. That was a close one off the stick of Hendricks, not exactly a big goal scorer. Panthers just burped it up in the middle of the ice. Tim Thomas got through him, but he got just enough of it for that puck to go wide. Took a big look behind him, didn't he? Bukestad working with Yossi now down low. Yossi's got it. He plays some big minutes paired up with Shea Weber. He's been about 30 minutes a game over the last four games. And Yossi moves it ahead for Spalling on the wing. Yossi is Swiss. He'll be playing for Switzerland in the Olympics next month in Sochi, Russia. Fleischman starts through center. Fleischman is in. Barch goes to the net. Shot. And Mazanitz grabs it with a glove. 4-10 to go in the first. Brad Boys on the score sheet again is 11th of the year. Tied at one in the first. On the Panthers' goal, Hornquist and Fisher are caught. Colin Wilson is the third forward, but watch him commit to Kilbert. Roll it. He commits, and because he commits, that allows for a three on two. Wilson had to stay high, and then Brad Boys on the side of the net. Instead of going behind the net, he stops in front. Good things happen when you stop in front. Brad Boys able to tie this game up at one. 
Colin Wilson there, that third forward, so responsible. He cheated on Gilbert, that long outlet pass, and a three on two goes the other way, and the Panthers are able to tie this one up. Tell you what you wonder, Billy, with those late pickups the Panthers made once training camp started, where would they be without Tim Thomas, Brad Boys, and Tom Gilbert? All signed of those one-year deals. Matthias here, working in the offensive zone, protecting the puck. Here's Barch from the point, and Barch able to hold it in. March again. Hayes gets a piece of it. Puck deflects to the point. Comes out. Stahlberg chips it ahead. Stahlberg could never get that pass in front. Now he throws it cross ice. Out in front. Taken away. Campbell got a piece of it but couldn't clear. Nystrom for the Predators. March takes a look around. Chips it up the wall. Hayes pushes it to center. Barch throws the body in there against Klein. And Hayes will give it to Gilbert. This line of the process of a change for the Panthers. Barkov back out there now, and he's got the puck. Hornquist dumps in. Weaver for boys. Throws it ahead, got it through, but Barkov couldn't control cleanly. Weaver with a hit at the Panther bench on Colin Wilson. Wilson says that's a little bit too much. And Weaver says something else that I won't quote. <laughs> on that side, Mike Weaver. He's been physical this year. Second on the team in hits. Plays the pocket and just lays the shoulder. Right into Colin Wilson. Colin Wilson took exception to it. Weaver made sure he wasn't going to go any further. Mike we Weaver, not very big in stature, but he plays that mean, nasty style, and he's a little pit bull. I'm a big fan of Mike Weaver and the way he plays the game. Thinks the game, too, doesn't he? I know you talk a lot yes. of hockey with him. He does. He, he, he runs a hockey school in the summer for defensemen only. In a, Teaches the game of hockey, yes, he thinks very well and probably one day make an excellent coach. I enjoy once in a while when you guys are talking strategy, being a fly on the wall. Interesting. Weaver trying to get back here. Thomas plays it as it came right in front of his net. Dodge, Kopetsky, and Huberdo on for Florida. Smith and Boys, the goal scorers in the game. They've changed the assist, by the way, from Campbell to Tom Gilbert. Here comes Huberdo moving in. Nice feed for Gotch. Sharp angle shot off the net. Comes in front, score! Kopetsky! Thomas Kopetsky bangs it home, and the Panthers grab the lead. A couple goals off the rush for the Panthers. Thomas Kopetsky puts the Panthers in front. Mike Weaver, that long outlet pass. Thomas Kopetsky going to the net. No one picks him up. Leguan just standing around. Where's David Leguan, number 11, going? Not sure. He is right with Thomas Kopetsky and decides to take a little swing, and he paid a heavy price. Marcel Gotts quickly in front, right on the stick of Thomas Kopetsky. Number four for Kopetsky. Panthers, just like that, have the lead. Nice play by Huberdo, getting into the zone and setting up Gotch down low for that shot. So Huberdo on the score sheet with an assist. There's an example why Nashville probably not a very good five-on-five -five team. David Leguan standing right next to Thomas Kopetsky just decided to go for a skate. Marcel Gotch put it right in front, right on the stick of Kopetsky, and he gets it in behind Mazonitz. Here's Bukestad now. Could not get around Cullen, and Bukestad went down hard. Shea Weber lead pass taken by Ed Jovanovski for the Panthers, making his season debut. And then in behind the play, Jovanovski gives Bork a shot. Jovanovski back to his old self there. Don't bother the old pro. He'll let you have it still. <laughs> It'll come back fast like riding a bike. It's been a long time, but he knows how to play the game. And, then, and he wonders about physical contact for Ed Jovanovski. He answered it there. Wasn't afraid there, the big hit. 
because he lays the shoulder right down. A little extra shove at the end of it against Bork. Bork didn't even look in his direction, skated the other way. Six games played last year, that was it for Jovanovski during the uh, lockout short in the season. And that was the major concern for Jovanovski. Physical contact, how would that hip respond? So far in the game, he's gone four minutes. So, pacing in that 12, 13 minute range. Barkoff, Bergenheim boys on for Florida now. Mike Fisher carries in, shoots on goal. Thomas the save. I'd be willing to place a wager. This is the most nervous Ed jovanovsky has been in an NHL game, probably for, since his first ever NHL really? game. I would think huh. it would be up there. Right. Coming back, that long road. Boys gets a steal. Bergenheim off his skates. Not that first playoff game, that first Stanley Cup final game in 96 in Colorado. Different reasons, but I think there's a nervous excitement tonight for Jovan Jovanovski. And back then, I playing all the time into it. There would be some nerves, different kind of nerves. But tonight, for a totally different reason for Jovanovski, and a lot of questions to be answered, had a really strong first period. Dodge closes on Ekholm. Nystrom waits and sends it all the way down. The race is on. Stahlberg out of step, so no icing. Kulikov battling Stahlberg. Help defensively from Kapetsky, and that'll do it for the period. For the Panthers, perhaps a bit sleepy coming out to start the game after the layoff, but they came back strong, Billy, and had that all-important lead after one. That's big for the Panthers. And they got a couple goals off the rush. Their speed off the rush led to a couple goals. Jonathan Huberto gets an assist. That's big for him. He's been struggling of late. Thomas Kapetsky with the go-ahead goal. But all in all, first 10 minutes, Panthers sluggish. Last 10 minutes, much better. Get a couple of goals, and they have the lead. All right, let's go downstairs. Here's Drew. Welcome back, everybody. Panthers and the Predators tonight. And we get set for the second intermission. Tonight's telecast on Fox Sports Florida is presented by the Florida Lottery. Thomas Kapetsky at the second goal. His fourth of the year. Put the Panthers in front. Stopped right in front. That big goal. Jonathan Huberto had an assist on that goal. Panthers only the eighth time all year they've led after the first period. Shots were 10-10 in the first. And here we go in the second period. Panthers trying to finish up this five-game homestand. Even up. They're 1-2-1 one, one so far. That tough, hard-fought 4-3 loss to Detroit and then the shootout loss to the Rangers. The win over Montreal, a solid 60-minute effort on Sunday. Here's Gilbert putting it down low. Leg one. He gets checked, but able to still get the puck all the way down the ice. Brian Campbell moves out of his own end for Florida. Campbell up to center. Campbell in over the line. Campbell lets one go. Shoulder save. Nice rush by Campbell end to end. Lazanitz able to make the stop. Yossi funnels it out to center. Hornquist tried to move it along. Nice play by Kulikov. And here comes Nick Bukestad moving in on the backhand. Gets to the forehand. Saved by Mazanitz. Weaver for Kulikov. His wrist are wide. Played by Fleischman. Back for Bukestad again. Bukestad protecting that puck. Fleischman has it knocked off his stick finally. And the Predator is able to get out. Mike Fisher, Hornquist on the wing. Try to get it in front, blocked by Kulikov. <laughs> Couple of good looks by the Panthers early in the period. Started with a good defensive play by Kulikov on that Bukes, that chance. Yossi able to chop down the bouncing puck. Backhander in front, tipped away. Lead pass, too far for Upshaw, though. Panthers like the, will grab the chain. Lick that play by Bukestad, putting his head down. He put it underneath the stick of the defenseman. Able to get that shot on that, but that big body using it to his advantage. Yeah, he's been doing that a lot with a lot of the goals he scored. And he just goes strong to the net. Run better than the one here at home last month against Detroit when he shrugged off Datsuk, just shouldered him out of the way. Here's a shot. Thomas makes the save. And this one bounces in front. It bounced away from Thomas. Petrovic was there. Gotch on the shoot-in, but did not get to center. So that's an icing call on the Panthers. 
that's their second goal. Thomas Kapetsky and Nashville Predators not paying attention to detail. David Leguan, number 11, is right with Kapetsky. You can roll this, number 11, Leguan, and watch what happens with Leguan. He's right with Kapetsky. It's a three-on-three. Three. Then it goes right in front. Leguan just decides to go for a swing. Leaves Kapetsky all alone in front. A defensive breakdown by the Predators leads to that Panthers' second goal. Leguan. First ever Predators draft pick. This is 937th game, all with the Predators. Panthers unable to clear. Bouncing puck in the slot. Played over to the corner. Fourth line on for Nashville. Here comes Kapetsky to center. And the dumping in the Panthers now will get that change. Clear to center, but controlled by Florida again. Campbell, Matthias on now, centering Barch and Hayes. Like to see this line get that puck deep and really work down low, Billy. They're effective when they do that. Mazanitz grabs this one out of the air and holds it. And now a little pushing and shoving. Things settle down. Themed Italian tenor Andrea Bocelli back at the bb &T Center on Valentine's Day. Go to Ticketmaster.com to get your tickets. To your point, Goldie, the fourth line has to bring energy. You're out there to bring energy, play down low. A couple big bodies, Matthias and Hayes on that line. Barch is a physical force, those three players right there. But when you're on the ice as a fourth line, if you create that energy, then you'll get more ice time from the coach. I played a lot of fourth line in my day, <laughs> so I knew I, you had to run out there. And if you're able to impact the game, then you get that extra ice time. If not, you sit on the bench for long stretches. Now, I love that early career fourth line you run in Calgary with a couple of real pluggers, not big scorers, right? <laughs> Marty St. Louis. And? There's Mark Savard is on there. My goodness. How about that for a fourth line? <laughs> Savard, St. Louis, and Lindsay. Well, what a sad ending for the career, Mark Savard, huh? A head injury. That's and, too bad. Yeah. That was really bad. That hit from Matt Cook and just never came back from yeah. it. Talented it forward. St. Louis keeps on rolling, the captain of the Lightning across the state. Seth Jones plays it around for Eckholm. Up the wall, Gilbert with a check, able to hold it in his Barkov. Boy, Tom Gilbert's been strong tonight, skating well. Barkov along with Bergenheim. Bergenheim's got it. Barkov goes in front. Bergenheim has to settle it down and finally does. Sets up boys in the slot. And Bergenheim trying to tuck it in. It chips wide. There they are again, boys, Barkov, and Bergenheim. Excellent step up by Gilbert. Gilbert to keep the play alive. Then Bergenheim just put his shoulder right into the man. Took him off the puck. Boy, the D-man, I mean, top to bottom, doing a super job at that. You know, whether it's at center ice or in the offensive zone, getting the stick in there, keeping it alive. Nick Bukestad controlling along the boards. Here's Weaver for Upshaw turning, and a quick shot deflected away by Weber. Cleared out, Upshaw back to cover defensively. Bouncing puck at center. Fisher gathers it in and then shoots in. A little more than four and a half gone by in the second period. Glad you're with us on this Saturday night. Panthers have goals from Boys and Kapetsky, a couple of veterans, to lead the Predators. Kulikov with Colin Wilson now. Big Colin Wilson protects the puck. Past Hornquist. Weaver gets the angle on him, and the Panthers able to lift it out. This aggressive system under Hornchuk, when it's going... They spent a lot of time down in the opposition end. You notice that? A lot more puck possession for the Panthers in the games. They're able to wear down the opposition. Chance here. Thomas with a glove save off quite a rip on a wrister from Cullen. And this line, Bergenheim, Boyds, and Barkov clicking on all cylinders. John Bergenheim, though, take the body. Again, Seth Jones just takes his man off the puck and wins that battle. The ability to win individual battles, and he gets the shot at the end of it, almost bounces off Barkov. And then, again, another Panther player camped out right in front of the goaltender as Barkov's in that blue paint. Point shot here, and Thomas will grab that off the stick of Weber. And that play by Bergenheim, that's man on man. Just winning your individual battle against a player. Seth Jones, much bigger than Sean Bergenheim, and Bergenheim just pushed him off the puck. Eight goals this season. Sean Bergenheim, six goals his last ten games. 
Nashville controls the faceoff. Cullen puts it in front, deflected off the outside of the net by Hendricks. So a little line shuffling here by Barry Trotz going on. Hendricks now with Cullen on the ice. Van Bork. Dodge steals from Cullen. And now Petrovic able to carry out to center. It's Jovanovski cutting in. And Jovo just puts it deep. Panthers captain Jovanovski making his return to the lineup. Good check by Huberdo down low. But Ellis now able to gather it in and skate free. Gotch closes on him as Ellis shoots in. Campbell. Huberdo lifts it to center. Kapetsky got a stick on it, but Roman Yossi paired up with Shea Weber on D. Find Gostad. Big Paul Gostad in over the Panther line. Sends it in front. Steered away by Thomas. Yossi shoots, save Thomas. Rebound. Nystrom couldn't get the shot on goal. It was knocked away. Nystrom again. Plays it up to the point. Yossi makes a move. Yossi walks in. Sharp angle came right through the slot. Chris Barch able to chip it off the glass and out. Some pressure here in the second by the Predators. Yossi got around his man Hayes, but Gilbert, the defenseman, was there to take away that shooting lane. Nystrom again. Seems like Barry Trost trying to get these energy players on. Hayes couldn't carry it out. And Seth Jones. The shot stopped by Thomas. Jones after it again. Gilbert able to find it. And he couldn't clear. Look out. Smith off the bench with a shot stopped by Thomas. And then Smith knocks it away from Matthias. And the Panthers forced to ice the puck. Those are plays that you have to get out of your zone. The turnover the other way. All of a sudden, they have an icing and a faceoff down deep in their end with a tired group. Predators putting the pressure on there on the fourth check a bit. 20 years of Panthers hockey celebrating the 20th anniversary of the franchise this season. And you can catch inside the Panthers. A lot of great video and looks back coming up right after the game tonight. Big face-off win there for Florida. But Barch got turned back at center. And look out, free puck. Predators with some big work in the offensive zone. Trying to tilt the momentum here. Campbell gets checked. And Smith up high for Eckholm. Hayes in the shooting lane. Eckholm can't find a lane. Jones has one. Blocked away in front by Campbell. Matthias clears it all the way down. No icing here. Panthers will grab a change. It's going to be an icing still. Okay. This line was unable to get off the ice. It looked like they waved it off initially, but they ended up with the icing call. I thought they waved it off. The line's been at center did. Yes, and they ended up with that icing call. Peter Horchak wanted an explanation, but still a tired group on the ice for the Panthers. And it's the fourth line, so it's a mismatch. And this is where face-offs, Nashville's the number one face-off team in the NHL, and you have a tired group on the ice. This is going to be an important face-off for the Panthers. They got some guys now, you know, Nystrom and Hendricks, they're grinding in the <laughs> Panthers' zone. Trotz isn't happy either. Panthers trying to get some, their, <laughs> get the Barkoff line on the ice. It was the fourth line, Matthias, Hayes, and Barch that were on the ice. Well, looks like they got two thirds of the change. Now, how, do you, how do you do that? Barch is going to have to stay I mean, on the ice. It's got to be one way or the other, right? It's, it's yes. either. Well, the Panthers have some fresh bodies at least. Wait, Barch so, is the only tired so guy. So they send Bergenheim out, but they left. Yeah, the other. All right. The other two on. Strange. Here's a chance in front. Tipped away in a penalty. Our first penalty of the game. And boy, doesn't it always wind up happening when the momentum starts going one way? And that all started with a turnover in your own end that led to back-to-back -back icings, and the Panthers would end up taking the first penalty of the game. Barkoff, a chance in front. Panthers up by one, but they're a man down. Brian Campbell, cross-checking call in front of the net. 51, top of your screen. Wasn't much. A couple of shots to cross-check. Panthers will be short-handed. That was a ticky-tack call. First power play of the games. Goes to the Predators. All right, special teams. We've talked about it. Panthers need to improve on it in the second half. Ace underwriting brings us the penalty kill. Florida up 2-1 to one on goals by Boys and Kopetsky in the first. Half the Predators took the lead on a goal by Craig Smith. Scramble off the faceoff. And a good effort by Gotch. Good help on the faceoff by Marcel Gotch to get that puck down. You need help from your wingers. Nashville's had the last seven shots on goal in the game. 
They have stepped up the play. Now they have a power play chance. Roman Yossi, the wrister, saved by Thomas up high. Panthers couldn't clear. Yossi again. Kulikov able to play it off the wall and get it down. That's saved by Thomas. There's a man in front looking for a redirection. Hornquist was there, but he's right next to him. He comes out. Even if Hornquist de deflects that puck, I think he's so tight to him that that puck does doesn't go in. That's how he fights his way through traffic, does Thomas. Jovanovski now on with Petrovic on defense. Upshaw and Matthias, the forwards. On the penalty kill, Yossi puts it in front. And Yossi again at the point. Remember, Shea Weber's got that huge blast. Ten goals on the season for Weber. Tied for most amongst defensemen in the league with Eric Carlson. Panthers so far so good on the PK. Seven of those ten goals for Weber have come on the power play. In no, the interference, yeah. Upshaw just, that was an easy one for the official. He got hit pretty hard. Luckily, he's up and okay. Nick Spalling collided with Upshaw. That nullifies the penalty. Four on four hockey. Right in the middle of your screen, Upshaw. <sighs> Spalling the collision, the arm up immediately, just takes him out. So four on four hockey for 41 seconds, and the Panthers will have their first power play. And yeah, boy, they could have got a kneeing on that one, you know, in, in addition to the or instead of interference, only one penalty. And you're right, Scotty Upshaw missed three games. Lucky he didn't get hurt on that play. Last three games he has missed because of injury. I should state. Upshaw playing his 450th NHL game, and quite a turnaround. Scotty Upshaw. It has been. So open ice now, four on four. Bukestad, clean win. Gilbert, for Fleischman, the shot rises high. Gilbert holds it in. Now taken by Stahlberg, though. And the Predators. Leguan controls and lets the traffic clear away. Now gets the set. Leguan creeping down the wing. Gilbert knocked it away, but it comes to Ekholm. The shot goes wide. Leg wand again. Stolberg now. Shot. Bad save for Tim Thomas. And here comes Campbell. And the Panthers get a power play chance. And midway through the game, this is huge. Try to get that lead to two goals. Remember last game had that big four-minute power play in the third period. They weren't able to capitalize against the Rangers. Panthers power play has to be able to come through at key moments in games. They've got Jovanovski out there. Let's see if he can get a shot on goal here. Jovanovski does. Kicked out by Mazanitz. Boys. Got stick check by Weber. So Jovanovski, first game back, first game this season, getting some power play time, and why not? We talked to him this morning, and he said he was looking forward to getting out there on the power play. Bergenheim is in. Sharp angle shot save. Barkov put the rebound wide. Bergenheim double team. Take it away. Nystrom gets it out to Fisher. Mike Fisher shorthanded. Barkov on the back check. Campbell gave him a good shot. And Jovanovski takes away. Barkov up the middle. Ahead for Boys. Makes a move. Lost the puck. Campbell. Bergenheim, traffic in front. Here's Boys back for Bergenheim off his skates. Barkov gets cross-checked and chopped down by Jones. They let it go. Kulikov, the big slap shot, save! And the Predator is able to clear as the power play ends. Barkov right in front. Kulikov that time able to hit the net. Huberdeau. Moves in as we're back to five on five hockey. Both teams kill off the abbreviated power plays. Weaver ahead for Kapetsky. Gotch and Huberdo along with him. Kapetsky for Huberdo. Off his stick and then clear to center. Knocked down by Smith. Bork behind the Panther net, try to get it in front. Bork again, jammed up with the referee. Weaver takes back. There's some hard work along the boards right now in the Panther zone, and Weaver, along with Gotch and Huberdo, able to clear. Ellis puts it right back in.
Kopetsky takes a look around, throws it to the open side. Weaver fires ahead, too far for Fleischman, but he got a piece of it. Terrific hit by Petrovic behind the net. Love that from a defenseman, get in there, just pound your man, take him off the puck. We've seen a couple of examples, one in the offensive end, Bergenheim put the shoulder into Jones, took his man in there defensively. Petrovic, Panthers doing an excellent job playing the body. One thing the Panthers have when you look further down the road of those two young defensemen at 21 years old, Petrovic and Goodbranson, they get their money's worth. <laughs> Physically, we know that. Ed Jovanovski is back. The shot on goal there, denied. 2-1, Panthers. Welcome back to the BB&T Center. The Panthers up 2-1 to one in the second period. It's been a physical game, so let's take a look at our accurate collision of the game. This one going to Panthers defenseman Mike Weaver from back in the first period. As you see, skating along the right side is going to hit Colin Wilson. Nearly pushes him into the Panthers bench. Physical game and a big hit by Mike Weaver. Guys? You always like that out of Weaver. Kel Gotch, four hits leading the way for the Panthers. Petrovic, as you mentioned, Billy, has three tonight. They've been physical as a group. Well, the Predators, I mean, they're a hard team to play against. You know, they, they'll always bring that work ethic. All the goals came in the first. Predators has made the playoffs seven of the last nine years. Barry Trotz has been the coach the whole time. There's been only five other teams in the NHL that have made the playoffs seven of the last nine years. Of those five teams, there's been 23 coaching changes. Wow. Panthers get a chance off the faceoff by Thomas Fleischman. Matthias Ekholm, number 42, is going to be responsible for Fleischman. He can roll this, but watch the confusion. As you see Ekholm trying to go over, then his man, oops, i got to get back here, and that's a design play as Ekholm loses Fleischman on that faceoff, and that's something that you work on in practice. Fleischman gets that one-time chance. I'm trying to think of the other five teams that have made the playoffs seven of the last nine years. Well, Boston and Pittsburgh. Detroit. Detroit. Probably Vancouver. Maybe Chicago. Maybe not. Well, that 15. I thought you had the list. All right. Want the ultimate experience <laughs> on the ice for your child? Well, they can stand next to their favorite Panther during the national anthem. Learn how your child can participate. A once in a lifetime opportunity. 954 835 Puck. Get the info. And that's at least seven of the last nine years. Some of the teams have made it nine of the last nine sure. years, like the Detroit Red Wings. Red Wings Panthers in the same division now. Panthers 2 and 1 against them so far this year. Every game, a one-goal game, and exciting, and they'll still play two more times. Nice work here by Barkov. Barkov digs it free. Barkov feeds Weaver, and the shot deflected wide by Bergenheim. Bergenheim again gets out in front, trying to stuff it home. Cleared away. Boy, Boy. the Lions win a lot of the individual battles. They're they, just coming away with the puck again. Bergenheim in front. They're fun to watch. They are a lot of fun to watch, and Peter Harcek recognizing it, and they're just getting more and more ice time every game. Every time you ask Peter Horacek about Bergenheim, gets a smile on his face. There's a little elbow there. You see Ekholm and Boy's got a little something going. Still chatting all the way up. Discussing whether Mentos is the real fresh maker or not, probably up the ice. What are they discussing? <laughs> Ever seen that commercial? Is that Mentos commercial? The fresh maker? Ah, forget about you it. You mean the mints? Yeah, the mints, yes. Those are the chewy ones, One right? One of the strangest commercials that you ever see. Well, they have them in fruit flavor. Don't they, they do. We They're get them on only... the plane, don't yeah, you? We you do. get them. You take a couple handfuls every oh, time. All right. You know what? <laughs> they are very refreshing, Jerry. Here comes Barkoff making his way in the zone. Everybody's a comedian, folks. Petrovic at the point. Plays it back around, Ellis. Hayes right with him, but Ellis able to get free. And on the backhand, send it all the way down. On goal, so Thomas forced to play it for the captain, Jovanovski. Matthias under pressure from Gostad. Petrovic. Aaron pass there, and Gostad gets over to it. Jovanovski cuts it off. Held in at the point. Back around it comes for Stahlberg. Petrovic gives him the shoulder. Stahlberg stays with it. Up high, it's Gostad. Stahlberg again. Jammed up by Jovanovski. Stahlberg now has it stolen by Matthias. And finally, the Panthers able to clear. Shots 20-16 to 16 in favor of the Predators. Boys and Kopetsky, the Panther goal scores. Nashville gets called for icing here. 
Bill, anytime, you can check out FoxSportsFlorida.com for all the latest news and information on Florida teams. Now Panthers get the face off. Astros got a group that's been on the ice for a while. That Jovanovski back to the bench. It's tough. That's the biggest thing. You can practice all you want, but coming back and being in game shape, Jovanovski keeping those shifts short, probably 30 seconds. That's about as long as he wants to be on the ice at any one extended period. Yeah, he's at eight minutes now. I mean, that's a that's a pretty good number considering, you know, he hasn't played a game in <laughs> almost 10 months. He told us this morning, just keep it simple. That's what he wanted to do. And you can see that is what he's doing and doing it well. Petsky with a bump there on Weber as he shot in. Campbell around for Gotch and the clear to center, but taken away by Cullen. Here comes Bork. Moving in and shooting. Blocked by Campbell. Bork on it again in front. Oh, it just rolled away, and then Hendricks took an extra swipe at it as Tim Thomas covers up. We get laid on in the second period. The Panthers holding the one goal lead. Scoring in the first period, Panthers lead. Thomas Kopetsky has the go-ahead goal. Also has our red line energy rush on that goal. Thomas Kopetsky able to get his fourth of the season. Huberto starts to play Marcel Gotch and then able to get his own rebound right in front to Thomas Kopetsky. And that's our red line energy rush. Go in front, stop, get to that blue paint, you score goals. It was such a tough start to the season for Kopetsky offensively, Billy, but he's been picking it up. Good chance he'll be named to Team Slovakia for the Olympics next month in Sochi, Russia. Good to chat with Dale Talon, part of the decision makers for Team USA. Couple of interesting decisions, Team USA. No Bobby Ryan, Keith Gandel got left off the team. Here's a Wilson putting it in front of a score. Panthers couldn't control that puck. And the Predators have it tied here late in the second. The pass from Mike Fisher, Colin Wilson able to get the goal. Fortrek, that pressure, and then eyes in the back of the head right on the stick. Oh, sorry, it's, got, it's Wilson to Fisher. Nifty little pass. Able to tie this up, and Mike Fisher's been red hot for the Predators. Came into this one, eight points his last three games. That was nine points in four games. Goal number 11 for Mike Fisher, and that was a pretty pass to turnover. Kulikov there instead of holding onto the puck, just fired out of the zone, hard off the glass. Tried to hang onto the puck, he gets stripped, and all of a sudden like that, it's in the back of your net. This has been coming for a good amount of time in this period. Really, the Predators have been much better than they were earlier in the game on that four check and causing the Panthers problems in their own zone. Now they've gotten it tied. Fisher's 11th of the year. And we're back even again. Nashville led 1-0. Panthers took the 2-1 lead. Wilson sets up the tying goal. Legwand out at center, tipped away by Bukestad. Now Tom Gilbert. Campbell. Gets the center and shoots in. Panthers need to turn the tables and get going on the four check and spend a little time on Asheville's zone. And Boys gets it started. But Yossi right back with him. Barkov joins in. Boys away with it. Cross ice. Bergenheim couldn't get the shot off. Bergenheim scores! Set up by Barkov. Oh, those killer bees are killing it. And the Panthers answer right back a minute later and lead again. You can't stop him. You only can hope to contain him. The Predators not doing a very good job of containing this line. Brad Boy's hanging on to that puck and... Bergenheim whiffed on the first one, then Barkov quickly put it right back onto his stick. Well, Barkov just stopping in front of the net again. Barkov goes right to the front of the net. Bergenheim bend on that, but Barkov put him right back to him, and he just wires it. Right in behind Mazonitz, and the Panthers regain the lead. I don't think Mazonitz ever saw that second shot. 18-year-old Alexander Barkov sets it up. Thomas with a save here off the scramble in front. Barkov, two more points tonight. 
and he now leads the Panthers in scoring. And how about Bergenheim? Five goals in his last five games. Now, these two Finns, they've been unbelievable. They have been. They are definitely don't have any Swedish in them. They are definitely all Finnish. <laughs> Able to put that one in. And uh, seven goals in his last 11 games for Bergenheim. And when he gets on a tear, he gets on a torrid pace. Pretty little play. Barkoff right back on that stick at Bergenheim. Right in behind Mazonitz, and just like that, the Panthers restore the lead. A minute later, coaches always talk about the shifts after goals being very important. Well, that was a big one for the Panthers to restore the lead. And all started by Boys. You know, he went in there hard against Yossi, and Boys got a helper as well. He's got a two-point night going, five points in his last four games. Put in front of the Panther net, then skipped away by Gilbert. Kopetsky runs out to center. Ian Stahlberg to the end boards. Huberto throws the body in there. Free puck in front, Kopetsky. And that deflects on goal off a of skate. It hit Ellis' skate and came right into the blue paint. So the Gox line follows up the goal with a pretty good rush up ice there. Predators have been soft in their own zone. They're letting the Panthers stand around. Marcel Gotts another chance, but allowed to stand around. And that big line, Barkoff. And boys are a couple of big bodies. Let them stand around. They're going to do some damage on you. And I love Barkoff. He's going. How many times have we seen him right in the blue paint tonight? Just goes there and stands in that blue paint. You can't move him. Getting He's better and better. Yes. And by the way, all the goals, all three goals, right in front of the net. They tonight. have been, yes. And the Panthers there. Get to the blue paint. Get to the blue paint. That's where you score goals. It's not from far out in this league. You score on rebounds, deflections, and getting that blue paint. And the Panthers have been able to get there. Gilbert sets in his own zone. And now it's Campbell. Up ahead for Bukestad. Gets the blue line and puts it in behind the net. Mazzadis sends it around the boards. Cut off by Fleischman. But now Bork able to chip it off the wall. And Bork puts it over the Panther line. Weaver there for Florida. Boys, Kopetsky, and Bergenheim. The goal scorers tonight for the Panthers. Bukestad with a move. He's in. Gets it to Kopetsky, cross ice, Fleischman, he misses high. Well, that's a gorgeous setup. Bukestad and Kopetsky for Fleischman. Fleischman again, in the corner, stolen away. Wilson, Gotch had a beat on him. Wilson stays after it. Shoulders with Weaver. Puck stuck on top of the Panther net there, so we'll get the whistle and the frozen puck. Good puck movement, shot by Thomas Fleischman. Panthers generate a loft. Look at the bad big gap control. The defenseman for the Predators, that big gap, and then Thomas Fleischman just fired it wide. Had to stop that puck. I think if he gets it clean, where he can just one-time it right away, has a better chance for that puck to go in. But terrible gap control by the Predators defenseman. Gotch finds the puck along the boards with some good work. And around for Weaver. Huberdeau up to center. Couldn't get around Eckholm. Huberdeau continues to battle, though, in front of that Nashville bench with Colin Wilson. Eckholm there as well. Panthers try to fish it out, and they do. Fisher watched by Huberdeau. As the period winds down, Seth Jones in his own end. Eckholm takes a look. Goes hard around the boards. And that'll do it for the second period. Late in the period, Billy, the teams exchange goals less than a minute apart. And Bergenheim answered the Fisher goal to give the Panthers the lead headed to the final period. Boys, Barkoff and Bergenheim, sensational. Again, one more night. This is three games in a row. They've been able to carry the Panthers offensively, and they're scoring at big times in games. Nashville, the Fisher goal, able to tie it up, but they respond the very next shift. Able to get down in that end, and nice pass Barkoff to Bergenheim to restore the lead. All right, we got the second admission coming up. We send it down to the desk. Here's Drew. Panthers wrapping up four-game homestand. One goal lead going into the third. Roll this play. Just stop here. Kulik off the pinch, and then the support from the forward, Upshaw. The defense can pinch as long as you have that support, and Upshaw... Able to support there for Kulikov, and that's the system Horacek wants. On this goal, you can roll this. 
two on two down low. And then just stop here. I want you to focus on David Leguant. Number 11, it's three on three down low. You can roll this play. Number 11, Leguan in front would just lose his coverage. And that would end up to that goal on that second goal by, or that third goal by Bergenheim. Tonight's telecast brought to us by the Florida Lottery. And here we go in the third. Panthers up by a goal. The Barkoff line begins the period. It's produced two of the three goals tonight. The other to Kopetsky. And here's a steal. Barkoff at the blue line. Finds boys. Turns it back to the point for Campbell. Gilbert now with a little wrister. Barkoff able to play it at the goal line. 18-year-old Alexander Barkoff, two more points in the game tonight, both assists. He is now at 11 points in his last 11 games and leads the Panthers in scoring, and he's on it again, setting up Bergenheim. Zanetz fought that one off, may have actually hit the goal stick. Barkoff plus eight. Two in the last 11 games, that plus minus. And two, it goes, goes way beyond the offense for Barkov. He has the ability to be a shutdown centerman as well with his defensive capabilities. Held in the Panther zone, the point shot deflected wide. Bouncing puck, Hornquist put it right on goal. Seth Jones. Fourth overall pick in that draft where Barkov was selected second. Been better of late, five points in the last five games. Had five points his previous 24 games. Before that, picking it up offensively is Jones. Knocked down at center ice and then chopped in by Kopetsky. Same with Barkov too. These teenagers, once they get a feel for the league. Huberdeau a steal in front, got score! Barry Trot's not going to be happy with his team tonight. This is soft as church music, this play by Seth Jones right here. Right behind the Huberto and right in front to Marcel Gotch. I mean, that is just a play you can't make. And Seth Jones, the 19-year-old, pops it right on the stick of Huberto, quickly out in front. And Klein can't recover in time. Marcel Gotch has the goal, but just... Another disastrous play by the defenseman Jones right there for the Predators leads to another Panther goal. And Huberdeau, you know, we talked to him at the intermission, Billy, he talked about making things simple and, you know, just play the right way and the offense will come. Now has two assists and obviously that one, I mean, that's direct right there, right on the tape. Good read by Huberdeau, good turnover. Panthers creating a lot of turnovers. And if I was to talk to Huberdeau, his, his career is going to be so long, it's tough not to get wrapped up in the moment. And worry about the struggles, but it will come and it will bounce around for him. And like I think his approach right now, playing better away from the puck, everything will work out at the end. A couple assists tonight, he's been marvelous. Barkov in the offensive zone one more time. And gives to Bergenheim, shaking free, couldn't get the shot off. And then cleared. So the Panthers have gotten contributions tonight. The Gotch line with Kopetsky and Huberto has scored twice. And the Barkov line with Boys and Bergenheim have scored twice. A lot of plays we just normally don't see from the Nashville Predators. Reliable, but they've been soft in their own end, and that turnover by Jones was ill-advised at best, but they have been guilty of some soft plays down at their own end. Panthers have made them pay a price. First game of the new year for heading out on the road here. And a win, very important, and right now the Panthers three minutes into the third period are up a pair. Boys in his own end. Lifts it down the ice. For Marcel Gotts, his first goal in 11 games. Kulikov turns. But Gostad shoots right back in. Now Nashville gets a change. That's a big goal. Now you really force the Predators' hand. They've got to come out of their system and start pushing. Now you need some shifts like this from Jimmy Hayes setting up Barch. Just keep that puck deep in the zone and... Work the D, but look out, flip the other way, and Smith is in the other way with a backhander. That's one you can have. Puck remains in the Panther end, leg one. To the point, the quick shot, Thomas out to meet it, free puck, Weaver's got it, then knocked off his stick. Good response by Nashville. Panthers able to clear. 
That chance by Smith. He was able to knock that puck out of midair on that pass. Came through midair, knocked it out of midair, down to his stick, took it to his backhand, and that was Tim Thomas. Best save of the night. No, no. Huberto with the two assists in the game. That's his first multi-point game of the season. Hornquist, and then Petrovic solid on the meeting, and Hornquist shoots again, St. Thomas, and it chips wide. Petrovic gave Wilson the big hit, but Hornquist got in. Couple of dandies for Thomas. One on Smith, that time on Hornquist. Gotta be careful, Panthers. Next five minutes are key. Get through, you know Nashville's gonna get a good push right here. Try and get that goal back, push it within one. Thomas able to bail out his teammates a couple of times. Predators able to hold it in. Here's a shot from Bork, another stop by Thomas. Bork again, couldn't get the shot off that time, and Gotch races out to center. Gotch cutting in over the line, drops for Huberdo, moving in and shooting. Save up high, Mazzonitz. Huberdo active here. But yeah, those are three really good chances for the Predators right after the Panthers took the two-goal lead. Tim Thomas, to me, his ability at crucial times in games to shut the door, whether it's tied or behind a goal, up a couple of goals, able to make key saves again way out in front, and not very conventional as he goes down into that split, but able to take that away from Hornquist. Had 30 stops on 31, 31 stops on 32 shots against the Rangers, and tonight, 25 of 27. Yeah, he's been really good of late. Counting tonight. Still has 14 minutes plus to go. Last five games, he's allowed a total of seven goals. Mazanitz plays it around the boards for Shea Weber. It went off the back of Wilson, and a good play by Gilbert to get it out of the zone. Wilson's got a clear, and he does. Play rolls on. Barkoff right up the gut. Barkoff in over the line with a shot. Mazanitz will hold that in the glove. Just shots there. Barkoff, no chances. Get over the blue line, get it on net. Another smart play by Barkoff. There's only a shot on net, but what happens on that play? Now you have an offensive zone face-off against the Predators. You know, you look at those numbers, but you remember there weren't, there wasn't much on that score sheet early in the year. So a lot of that damage by Barkov has been done of late. He's been at about a point a game now for the better part of three, four weeks. Two more tonight. Off the draw. Good help by Upshaw. Cutting into the backhand. Loose puck. Mazanitz couldn't find it. But the Predators able to get it away. And Smith chips ahead. Smith moving down the wing. Has a man in front. Deflected wide by Legwan. Thomas is down and out, but it's cleared away by Fleischman. Chances both ways. Just out of the reach of Legwan. Upshaw had a chance off the faceoff. Then Legwan the other way. That pass just too far in front of him. Unable to get it. He might have had a chance to get that over Thomas. Boy, Craig Smith has been impressive tonight. He's on a roll for Nashville. He has a goal in the game. A couple of other good chances as well. It remains 4-2. to two. Gotch extending the lead here in the third. Tim Thomas with 25 saves. Gotch at center, stolen away. But there to help out is Kulikov. Over to Campbell, so you're seeing the mixing and matching now on defense. Peter Horacek does it often. Campbell pretty much winds up playing with everybody. Carried in by Gostad. It's Nystrom shooting, and Thomas all the way snatches it. The former Predator, Marcel Gotch, with a fist pump. The goal in the third made it 4-2. to two. A couple assists tonight. Panthers lead by a couple goals. Also, our ADT defensive play of the night. He said he wanted to be better defensively to get out of this slump. Hard back through the middle of the ice. That is what you want from Huberto, coming back in good support position. Able to bat that puck out, and Panthers would go the other way. And Jonathan Huberto, much lighter, you can see, even from up here, a couple assists. What it means to the mind mentally is that Gorilla, I think, a little bit has come off that back, seems to be skating much more freely. Uh, you love the attitude out of Huberto. Knows it's not going well, wants to help the team win, and... Suddenly here tonight with the veterans, Gotch and Kopetsky has created some opportunities for those guys, and they both have goals. All the talent in the world for Jonathan Uberdo. And the great head on his shoulders to go with it. Predators control the draw. Yossi flips one towards the net wide. 
Stolberg. Played by Campbell, but held in again by Stolberg. Climbing off the boards, getting into the slot. And now a chance for Nystrom blocked away by Gilbert. Thomas down, wraparound attempt. Oh, Tim Thomas came over with the left pad on the wraparound attempt. Stolberg puts it in front and Huberto able to get out. Huberto leads the rush and dumps in. Nashville's had a pretty good pre press after that Gotts goal. Kulikov moving in, gets the slot, peels back. Huberto at the goal line. Tracks it down. Huberto throws it down low, bouncing in the corner. Brad Boys is there, absorbs the hit. Barkov on as well in the scrub. Comes free to Yossi. Weaver steps up to get a piece of it. Stolberg. And the Predators finally able to get out of the zone. Kulikov to shoot right back in. Brad Boys takes the shot, deflected on goal, and then it goes wide for Bergenheim. I love these three just, they're going every time they're on the ice, have someone in front. Here's Fisher Thomas way out to meet him. Kulikov lost an edge and fell down. Tim Thomas one-on-one, -on -one. you're not going to get many by him. And yeah, you can see every time they're on the ice, if you always say, Billy Dave, they're ready to go. And they're paying a price for what they're doing. I mean, they're earning their goals. They're out working the opposition down in the corner, using their size, but most of all, they're getting to the dirty areas in front of the net, in front of the goaltenders. Jovanovski now grabs a shift along with Campbell. The Panthers captain at Jovanovski. First game back from injury, carrying through center, giving to Upshaw, his shot right on save. Back and forth we go. Here's Bork speeding the other way. Good bump by Upshaw. Thomas will move it along. And the puck comes out of the zone. Like that by Eddie skating, getting up in the play. Starting to feel this. The natural instincts come back fast for a player that's been around as long as Jovanovski and getting over it. And you can see his instincts starting to take over in this game. Huberdo forces a turnover. Kopetsky finds the puck and shoots just wide. Big carom off the end boards, Gotch. Couple good veterans for Huberto to play with. Marcel Gotch, Thomas Kopetsky, been around the block, and I think that's good for Huberto as well. That's been a good effort from Jonathan Huberto tonight. Moving on that line with Gotch and Kopetsky. Predators get a steal, and Tim Thomas again with a glove save. He stopped all eight shots he's seen in the period already. Next week, Billy Joel's the bb t Center. Limited tickets available for Tuesday's show, and, well, they had a second show a week from tonight. Ticketmaster has your tickets. Tim Thomas. Been rolling for the Panthers of late. Of course, had that big break with the injury. But as you said, Billy, when the Panthers signed him and we spoke, and throughout this season, he is a difference maker. He is. In, in tight games, it seems like he gets more locked in. In the third period, tie to lead. Whenever, whenever the game's on the line, he seems to play his best. And good goalie's the best in the league. I, that's why they're the best, I think, because they're able to hone in at the most important times. Midway through the third, the Cats trying to close it out. Up by a pair on home ice. On this Saturday night, Panthers have a 4-2 lead on the Nashville Predators. Welcome back, everybody, to the BB&T Center. Something we talked about in the game open, Billy, our AutoNation players to watch. 18-year-old Alexander Barkov, 19-year-old Seth Jones, both high picks during the draft back in June. Barkov's got the better of Jones tonight. A couple assists for Barkov. Seth Jones is minus two. Seth Jones minus 14 on the year. It's been a struggle defensively for Jones, and you'd expect that. Much tougher, I think, to break in the league as an NHL defenseman than forward. And Barkov getting better and better, and of late, he has been on a roll. He's got a pair of assists in the game tonight. Got a five-game point streak. Fisher streaks in. Oh, boy, penalty coming up, and it's on the Panthers. So the Predators here have had some... Well, they're going to get it on Fisher? Hang on now. I thought it was on the Panthers, and Mike Fisher, incredulous. I'm not sure what he did. We'll take another look at it, and this is a huge call right here in the third. Goaltender interference against Fisher, so made contact with Tim Thomas. 
McFisher, a couple of minutes to think about his transgression as he runs over <laughs> Tim Thomas. See, he's saying there, Billy, look how far away Fisher is. Well, what am I supposed to do? Well, he has the puck, too, and he's taking hard to the net. Tim Thomas, there's where Tim Thomas, he's out of the net so far challenging. He just runs into Mike Fisher, but the call was made. We'll take it. Only the second power play tonight for the Panthers. The other one was abbreviated. Well, take it. There's no doubt about that. That's <laughs> yeah, not even. But that's Tim Thomas. He's always so far out of his yeah. net. Challenging there. Mike Fisher had no no real estate. He Ooh. just ran out of room. Jovanovski got cross-checked down, getting some power play time here. Panthers could really put the foot on the throat if they could cash in on the opportunity now. Predators very good in the penalty kill, particularly on the road. Sixth in the NHL. So Jovanovski and Campbell at the points. Bukestad, Kopetsky, and Upshaw up front. Look out, Campbell fell down. Gostad killing some time. The sniper in the third row got Campbell. Had that puck down there and just fell down, down in the corner. Ryan Campbell, what a workhorse he's been. 173rd game in a row since becoming a Panther. Kopetsky, but it's fish free, and Nystrom lifts it all the way down. So nothing doing in the first part of this power play. Panthers get a change. Barkov is on. Boys over the line. Shoots wide. Barkov hustles after it. Hits Spalling, and it comes to the point. Brian Campbell walks the line. Drops it off for Brad. Boys top of the circle. Here's Bergenheim, and Boys again. A lane for Fleischman sent in front wide. Boys, Barkov. Hands it back for Brad Boys, who has won the night. Campbell goes for Fleischman. Here's Barkov turning and back again for Fleischman. His shot saved by Mazonics. Bergenheim to the rebound and boards Barkov. Battling with Seth Jones. Bergenheim there to help out. Barkov's got it. Hard pass up high. Campbell fakes the shot. Barkov puts it in front. Jones blocked it away. Jones lost it to Boys. Boys behind the net out in front. Bergenheim fan on the shot. And it's cleared all the way down. Panthers had a chance, and Panthers, if this power play ever gets going, under Hornchak, they don't have the power play advantage tonight. There'll be 20 straight games when they haven't had more power play goals than the opponent. But they've been, under Hornchak, they've been way better five on five, so if this power play can get going, this team is going to take off. They need to develop a five on five mentality, probably, when they have that power play. It's almost inexplicable how good you can be five on five, and then it can't carry over into the power play. Strange. But it happens. We see it from time to time. Penalty killing or power play from teams just doesn't work. Here's Gotch throwing one wide. Huberdo after it. The one thing the power play has not done from early in the year, it was a momentum killer early in the year. But at least the puck possession and shots on goal now are there so you can continue when the power play ends like right now and you're still in a rhythm it doesn't give the other team the complete change in momentum and it's when you get out there and you can touch the puck and keep it going yes you can keep that confidence and you can keep rolling with that momentum and the panthers power play everything's been getting better under Horacek to some extent you got to figure it's going to get the power plays going to get there eventually especially with some of these players getting hot like barkoff and boys and these players now you think when they're getting that confidence offensively, that also will carry over to the power play. Gilbert able to hold it in here. And an upshot with a big blast off of Ryan Ellis's shin guards. Bukestad tracks it down. Bukestad shifting in the corner. Out in front looking for Upshaw deflected away. Here comes Hornquist. Throws it wide of the Panther net. And Bukestad. Got to play it up the boards, blocked by Fisher. Bukestad again, this time to the line, but Yossi gloves it down. Shea Weber with a wrist shot, deflected in front wide by Hornquist. Bukestad literally rides his man, Wilson. You got to pay a buck 25 of the carnival for that. Hornquist, out in front, Fisher. Couldn't find it. Held in by Weber again. Deflected wide, Campbell moves it around for Gilbert. Five and a half to go in the third. Gilbert pays the price but gets the clear. Hit that play by Upshaw. Just knocked it out of midair. Gets it all the way down. Good hand-eye coordination for Upshaw. Weber moves it ahead. Yossi. Stick handling behind the Panther net. Out the other side. Centering feed and the shot scores! Seth Jones! And the Predators are within one with 5.08 to go. Seth Jones, the rookies, had a rough night for the most part. 
Not on that play. Panthers get caught down too low. The winger, Boys, is down 24. Winger is down too low. And look how far Boys has to come out. Doesn't get in that shooting lane. Kind of creates a screen as well for the goaltender, Tim Thomas. Seth Jones able to go upstairs against Thomas. I think Thomas was upset there, but if Boys is back that far, he's got to get out and he's got to try and get in that shooting lane and block that shot by Jones. But Seth Jones got caught down, or sorry, Boys got caught down too low in his own end in that point coverage. Allowed that time for Jones to be open. So here we go, one goal game, five minutes left. Nashville able to answer back. Predators did lead 1-0, Panthers led 2-1, then we were tied. Consecutive goals by Bergenheim and Gotch made it 4-2. The Jones goal has it at 4-3. Stahlberg in the offensive end now. Stahlberg working along the boards. Huberdo all over him. And the Panthers unable to get it out of the zone, but Gotch along with Huberdo, they just never gave up. Good effort. Outstanding defense by Huberdo. Strong on the puck. Lift the stick. Finally, the Panthers clear the zone. So Yossi, the defenseman, sets up Jones, the defenseman. And the very rare three defensemen getting on the score sheet because Weber had given it to Yossi before he went off the ice. So three D-men get in on the goal for Nashville. Yossi lost it. Bukestad, the give to Fleischman. His shot right on him is on. It's the save. Weaver's got the puck. Down low, Fleischman knocked away by Hornquist. Penalty's going to come against the Panthers, I think. Yeah, it's on Fleischman. He doesn't like it. Some hot water for the Panthers. Now Fleischman to the penalty box. It's getting dicey. Predators get a late power play when we return. Game recap, Brad Boyce, Marcel Goss, a couple points each. Ed Jovanovski, after almost a year and a half off, makes his season debut, and he's been solid. Craig Smith and Fisher have a couple goals, and the rookie, Seth Jones, has a goal late in the third period here to cut the lead to one, but the Predators now on a power play. Thomas Fleischman with an ill-advised offensive zone penalty. So just like that, it turns. Panthers moments ago, minutes ago, are on the power play, up 4-2 to two with a chance to really salt it away. Now it's 4-3 and the Preds a man up. Off the draw. Weaver behind the net. Hornquist throws the body in there. Scramble is on, Weaver goes down. It's under him. Hornquist trying to dig it out of there. And finally, the very rare frozen puck in the NHL these days. Usually they move it off. They do. Chamberlain saving the game, Tim Thomas. Hornquist coming in. See him down, covering that bottom half of the net, able to get a glove on it. Tim Thomas going to have to come up big now. Important penalty kill. 145 left in the Fleischman penalty. Predators control. Yossi shoots. Thomas down. Makes the save. Campbell's got the rebound. Jovanovski battling with Hornquist, and they're going to go. Jovo and Hornquist, then they separate. Hornquist dropped the glove at one point. How about Jovanovski? Seems like he never left. Fisher. Shoots in Jovanovski after it. Jovo's going to be at around 15 minutes tonight, and he's a plus three in the game. How about that? Fisher. And here's Weber. Always dangerous from the point. Got to keep close tabs on him. Stolen away, Kapetsky. Held in by Yossi. Race to the buck. Weber is there. Hornquist. And now Leguan. Looking out in front. Throws it in front off the skates of Fisher. Kopetsky could not gather it in to get it out. Gotch got a piece of the puck. Weber moved it along. Jovanovski able to bat it out along with Gotch, and the Panthers get a much needed change. Gotch, Kopetsky, Jovanovski, Campbell. Some experience. I know there's a youth movement going on, but late <laughs> in the game, Peter Horacek went out there with the veterans. They're able to kill a minute and a half of that penalty, and Jovanovski, a couple of good plays, getting his stick in the lane. Great point. Grizzled, a good word with some of those guys. Weaver after it. There's another one of those type of guys. Important penalty kill for the Panthers now. 11 seconds and able to do that job. Penalty killing came into this one. Perfect. Six for six last two games. 
They're going to go eight for eight. So a good stretch for this penalty, crit, penalty killing group that's been the line. Huge. And now we're under two to go. We'll keep the eye on the goaltender. The Predators will go back a man up, presumably, in short order. Down a goal late. Bajanitz played it for Jones. Ellis knocked away off the turnover. Boys shoots wide. It was Barkov that read the play beautifully to cause the opportunity. Barkov's got such a long reach with that stick. Just knocked it off the stick and Brad Boys whistled it wide. Barkov after Ellis again. And he forces another turnover. Boys wins the battle. Well, the Panthers are doing here is they are killing valuable time. Finally thrown out to center. Smith, cross ice. Yossi is in. Yossi shoots. Thomas the save. Mazanitz waiting. Still in the net. Now he's heading off. Predators net is empty with a minute left. Ryan Campbell with the puck. On the back check. It's knocked away and stolen away. Fisher on the backhand. Saved by Thomas. Predators buzzing now with the extra man. Weber shoots. And they score to tie it. Gostad in the final minute. And Nashville with two late goals has evened it at four. With the goaltender out. Panthers have a bunch of bodies in front. But no one picks up Gostad. You have those players. You got to find players that are... Watching the puck, everyone focused on the puck. Gostad in behind Tim Thomas. That shot gets thrown by Weber, and it will not get much easier than that for Gostad. Just shovels it over the goal line into the empty net. And the Predators tie it late. Number six for Gostad. The Predators able to tie this one up on late goals by Seth Jones and Paul Gostad on that play. And that one, the Panthers were guilty of watching the puck moving forward too far. Gostad able to put it into the empty net. 4-2 lead with just over five minutes left. But the Predators come back. With a goaltender pull, they get it even. And we're now 4-4. Second time the Panthers have led in the game and the Predators have come back to tie it. That last goal by Gostad and we're going to get it out and just get it back and stop it here. You're going to see Gilbert and the defensemen start to leave. You can roll it now. They're better off. You can see him get caught up too high. Gostad in behind. Just with that tap in, and you got to be aware of the players behind you, and Gostad able to get the goal. 47.1 seconds remaining. You know, the Rangers got the Panthers tied when it was 1-0 the last game with a couple of minutes left. Predators with a couple of late goals here in the third. Peter Horacek has talked off and playing comfortable with the lead, a one-goal lead in a tight game. Panthers in front, taken away by Fisher. Trying to hold it in, Panthers couldn't do it. Look out, Wilson between his legs, picked off though by Kulikov. Kopetsky on the shoot-in. Weber, hard around, Kulikov stepped up. Keeps it alive. Kopetsky shoots Mazanitz with the save. 15 to go. One last draw for the Panthers. Try and get something set up. 15.2 seconds on the clock. This one stinks. This is a two-point game for the Panthers. You need two out of this one. He blew that late lead last game against the Rangers. And yeah, Panthers the Panthers, have, and they score four goals, Billy. They yes, got to get two points. They do. And the late lead, and it's been tough to give up, but you don't care about Nashville getting an extra point. They're over in the Western Conference, so that, that's meaningless, but you got to find a way to come, come away. You've got a big road trip coming up. You need the two. Barkov against Gostad. Free puck of the circle. Boys comes in to pick it clean. Boys sends it in front. It came all the way through the slot. Campbell stepped up to get a stick on it. Bouncing puck. And that'll do it for regulation. Second straight game here at the BB&T Center. The Panthers will go to overtime. Tim Thomas will try to shut it down in OT. All right, overtime again, second straight game. It was a wild finish in the third. Panthers held the lead going to the third period, three to two. 
And Billy, it looked really good when they added to it early in the period. It did. The turnover by Jones right on the stick at Huberto out front to Marcel Gotts. And all of a sudden, a two-goal lead, but bad point coverage. Boys 24 down too low. Doesn't get out. Some room for Jones to get the shot. And then with the goaltender pulled, Paul Gostad in behind the goaltender, Tim Thomas. Able to tie it up. Five on five. Some bonus hockey. One more time. Well, for the Panthers, after regulation, you see they're four and six, but only one game has been decided in overtime. They're four and five in shootouts for Nashville. They're actually one and two in overtime and then 0 oh and three in shootouts. So for the most part, when these teams have gone to overtime, the games have gone to shootouts. We'll see if that trend ends here. Four on four hockey, Bukestad and Huberdeau the forwards. Boy, could Huberdeau use one here? Here he comes. Huberdeau is in. Shot deflected to the corner. And the Predators look to go the other way. Yossi carries over the Panther line, gives to Fisher. His shot kicked out by Thomas. Huberdeau's got it. Moving through center, Shea Weber is back. Huberdeau trying to fight through Weber. Huberdeau does. Huberdeau gets tied up. Lost the puck. Barkov flies in. Two assists tonight for Barkov. Able to bat it off the boards. Yossi controls now. Pounded by Boys. Clears the center. Nice step up by Kulikov. Barkov is in. Here's Boys setting up Kulikov in the slot with the back check. And he couldn't get a shot away. Smith the other way. Smith being hounded. He peels back. 39-28. The shots in favor of Nashville. And they had 16 in that third period. Jovanovski gets it to center. It's Fleischman. Up ahead, Bergenheim. Back for Jovanovski. Tipped away. Bergenheim there to cover. Here's Jovo again. Trying to find Bergenheim. Gathers it in. Shoots in. But cut off. Seth Jones had the goal in the third and made it 4-3. Free puck at the Panther line. Gotch steps in. He's got a goal tonight. Continuous action, nearly two minutes gone by here in the five-minute overtime. Upshaw with speed. Gets by one man, but couldn't do it with control. Stahlberg tries the other way. Stahlberg down the wing, throws it right through the slot. Cullen tracks it down. Open side. Gotch moves over. Gotch out of his own end. Gotch to center. Crosses the blue line. Campbell picks it up. Puck deflects Kulikov. Able to hold it in. He's under pressure, though. Good job by Bork pressuring those points. Conservative on both sides. Sitting back. Got to be careful. Man on man. Four on four hockey. We'll look out and turn over there, but take it back. Bukestad, two on two with Huberto. Bukestad speeding in. Bukestad shoots from the sharp angle high, and it comes all the way out. You've got to be careful missing the net in overtime. That could lead to transition the other way. Huberto is in. Huberto circles back on the forehand, sets up the Weaver one-timer save. Rebound in front. Yossi clears it away. Good blast by Weaver right on net. Rebound was there. Yossi came in, swept it away. It was a juicy rebound. Huberdeau again with a head of steam. Moving through center ice. Huberdeau, the give to Bukestad. Puck deflects in behind the net. Bukestad try to get it to the point. Good. Colin Wilson goes the other way for Nashville. Wilson over the Panther line. This is Yossi in front. Wilson, big stop on the redirection by Thomas. Seth Jones with a bomb. Thomas the save again. Jones at the line. Over to Yossi. Back again, Jones. He did not hold it in. Whoa, boy. Back and forth. Nick Bukestad, though, even though in your overtime, you got to be able to play defense. The one chance that it looked like Nashville may have, it was going to be a three-on-two. 27, right in the middle of your screen. Look at him skate. Three-on-two, and where does it come at the end of this? Right to his man on the side of the net. If he doesn't hustle back, that ends up being a chance. Super play by Bukestad on the back check. Three Predator shots in overtime, one for the Panthers. Three puck at center. 
Jones goes for Eckholm. And now Nashville on the breakout. Trying for a three on two. Smith shoots. Thomas the save. There's a rebound in front. Now Weaver down low. Trying to fight off the check of Spalling. Spalling took it away. Rolls it up the boards. Jones. Eckholm. Watched by Boys. And Kulikov gets over. Barkov at center. Controlling. Try to drop pass that's stolen away by Spalling. Now late in overtime, Campbell behind his own net looking for a rush up ice. Red hot Bergenheim is on. Bergenheim moves in. Bergenheim with a shot deflected behind the net and it went out of play. So the draw will stay in the Nashville zone late in overtime. And again, one more chance and uh, it's gonna come to the face off's gonna come to the left of Mazonitz. Oh, sorry, it's gonna come to the other side. And that's good. This is where Marcel got on his back end. The leading faceoff guy for the Panthers is gonna come out at 54%. He's gonna go against Gossad. Gostad, as you mentioned, is number one in the NHL in the faceoff circle. Chance to win a late draw. Marcel Gotch, maybe come up big, get a chance from the point. Jovanovski out there at that point position. But Gostad does the job in his own end. And Shea Weber reverses it. Bergenheim, the pressure on Yossi. But Yossi able to fight him off. And as has been the case in nine of the first ten games that have gone overtime for the Panthers, it doesn't end in overtime. We've got another shootout coming up for you on Fox Sports Florida. Do not go anywhere. All right, shootout time here at the bb and Center. Boy, some great games on this homestand for the Panthers. There's the records in the shootouts. The Panthers have been good. They did lose the other night to the Rangers. Tim Thomas is 3-2 and two in the shootouts. Brad Boys, shootout king, 5 out of 7. But how about Nashville, Billy? 0-3 in shootouts. Their shooters, a combined 0 for 10. They don't have a shootout goal this year. Can't win a shootout if you don't score a goal. And that's why they pay you the big bucks that to sit is. up here that and analyze these games. Analysis. Can't anal analyze it better than that. <laughs> and two, I'm going to say one more thing. The Panthers, in goal, you got to favor Tim Thomas here. Sure. 39 years old, Tim Thomas. And Mazanitz down at the other end, a 22-year-old rookie for the Predators. And Panthers got some wicked shootout players that they can send out there to put in the lineup. Well, here we go. They submit the sheets, so we'll give the shots, and you can read them yourself. Smith, Legwand, Wilson for the Predators, and... Barkoff is going to lead the way, then Huberto and Brad Boys down at the end. Now, you see they made some changes there. Yes. They had Hornquist originally and Hendricks. How about that? I wonder how they switched that up and went with that. So, Barry Trotz, some indecision. There's Mazonitz. One goal allowed, two shots faced. Not a lot for him. So, not a lot of experience for Mazonitz in the shootout down at the other end. Talk about a wealth of experience. Look at the difference in that. 61 goals allowed on 218 shots. For Tim Thomas and Mazanis, the goaltender. I don't care who you are, 22 year old rookie in a shootout against Tim Thomas. There's got to be some nerves for him. And we'll see. And now, do you think the goalies are thinking a lot about who the other goalie is? Or are they thinking more or exclusively about the shooters? Just exclusively about the shooters. They know Tim Thomas is down at the other end, though, and knows that he's going to have to come up big because he's expecting a big performance about Thomas. But you're definitely focused on the shooter and the task at hand. There's Barkov. He'll shoot first for the Panthers. Two for seven in the shootouts this year for the talented 18-year-old as a pair of assists in the game. Rob Tallis, the goaltending coach, was on the bench down there. He's talking to some of the shooters. There's Rob Tallis, the third one in the suit on your left. The mm -hmm. dark hair talking to Barkov and giving some instructions. Spends the, most of the game up here, but once it gets into overtime, going to a shootout, he goes down on the bench to offer advice. So he knows the goaltenders better than anyone. And the Panthers players could not know a lot about Mazonitz. So Rob Tallis, they're probably going to offer some advice. Well, you wonder, you know, he was drafted in 2012. So... Peter Horacek was still part of the organization, but obviously with a draft pick, we don't know if there's any insight there. There's the shooters, and here we go. Nashville will go first. Craig Smith, this guy's been red hot of late within the games, of course. 
He's been good before this year. He's 0 for 3 this year. Shootout underway. Smith speeding it on Thomas. And he rings it off the post. He didn't waste any time, did he? Goaltenders will tell you they played their angles perfectly when it hits the post. Of course they will. Comes, yes, comes speeding down. Tim Thomas had Thomas leaning the wrong way. Saw Tim Thomas leading to the left. Smith goes to the right. Got a little help from the goalpost. All right. A little late for a teenager to be out on a Saturday night, but what the heck? Barkov's got more work to do. Trying to give the Panthers the lead in the shootout. Alexander Barkov to the backhand. Mazanet stayed with him. Mazanet's able to stay with him the whole way. Barkov dusts, dusts the puck off a number of times. The stick handling. Mazanet's focused down and stayed with it. And again, too tight for Barkov against Mazanet. Here's David Leguan. Long-time Predator, their first draft pick ever. Veteran against veteran. Leguan of the backhand, and he scores! David Leguan able to open up the wicket to Tim Thomas. The fake shot, Thomas bit and then opened up wide and just slid it between the legs. You see that goal stick come off the ice, that five hole wide open, pretty empty by David Leguan. First shootout goal in four shootouts for the Predators this year. Huberdo trying to even it up. Comes in on Mazan. It's Huberdo, and he scores. So Jonathan Huberdo, two assists, and the big shootout goal to even it up after two rounds. And I think those two assists helped him in the shootout. Some confidence going into this one, and just toasted Mazanitz. The back end a little shake and bake, and Mazanitz dead to rights. Huberdo with the goal, ties it in one. Some pats on the back from the teammates. All right, Colin Wilson against Thomas. Thomas can come up big. Boys will have a chance to win it. Wilson moves in and fires one. And now the king of the shootouts, the all-time NHL leader, can end it for Florida. Tim Thomas in denial. Colin Wilson coming down way out. Thomas able to get that blocker on it. Making it look easy. Here it is. Brad Boys, no one's got more than him. He's five of seven this year. Boys can end it. In on the 22-year-old Mazanitz. Brad Boys gets stopped by Mazanitz. That's a huge stop for the Predators goalie. Who's on the stick of Brad Boys? Mazanitz. This time, the quick push. He bit a little bit on the fake, but not enough. Mazanitz a little bit of a fake, but sticks with Brad Boys and gets the left pad on the shootout king. Now here comes Hendricks, whose name was actually crossed out. He's got good numbers. Hendricks speeding in. Holds, and he put it off the outside of the post. Hendricks came flying in on Thomas, and now another chance for Florida with it. A bit of a break. Hendricks with this fake. Thomas bit on it totally right there, going on his knees. But the ability, Thomas never to quit on a play. You see him just, Superman, never quit on that play. And then Hendricks ran out. Thomas was down, but just didn't quit. Second chance to win it. Nick Bukestad with the opportunity. Moves in. Stops and shoots and stopped by Mazanitz. This play, if, it, it's not, if you don't get the goaltender to bite, it's not going to work. If he takes it to his backhand, I think he scores. Mazanitz says stays in the middle net. Look at the backhand wide open upstairs. Took it right back into the goaltender, Mazanitz. Here's Hornquist, the other that was crossed off the original list. Does not have one in his career. Thomas out to meet him. Hornquist. Saved by Tim Thomas. And a third straight chance for the Panthers to win the shootout is coming up. Speeds down Tim Thomas. This time that paddle, that stick on the ice. The key to this is keeping that stick on the ice. That stick stays on the ice. Closes up that five hole. He denies Hornquist. Dmitry Kulikov. He had a game winner a couple of years ago at home against Calgary. And he ended here, the Panther defenseman deliberately moving in and shooting. And Mazanitz again with a save. We go to the sixth round. Mazanitz, the rookie goaltender, is coming up large. Very deliberate by Kulikov, but decided to try to go with that quick shot. Mazanitz gets that paddle to make the save. This is Gabriel Bork. On Thomas. To the backhand. Nope. Thomas didn't give him any room, and he put it off the outside of the net. 
Another opportunity. Another shooter that got Thomas leaning the wrong way. Puck rolled and didn't get it off his stick quick enough. I think the poke check maybe bothered Bork just enough. Popetsky won the 10 rounder here at home last month against Washington. He can end this one. Popetsky moving in from the right and he scores! Popetsky! Arms wide, celebrations all around. What a rip! Well, that's an exciting Saturday night at the BBMT Center. Panthers win it. 5 4 the final. That's something else. As cool as the other side of the pillow comes down and. Yatsi upstairs over the glove. Thomas Kapetsky, his second game winning goal in the shootout, the quick release. Upstairs. Panthers, it didn't matter in this one how you got it done. It wasn't, it was disappointing at the end, but it really doesn't matter. Two points is two points. And that is the bottom line for the Panthers against the Predators. That return of the captain, Ed Jovanovsky. Is a successful one. The Panthers salute the fans here at the bb &T Center. All is well that ends well. Kopetsky, second time in the last month, he gets that shootout deciding goal. This time in the sixth round, they waited to the tenth round last time to use Kopetsky. Let's quickly go downstairs. Here's Drew.